What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about California taxes and why I hate living here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Min. I like to talk about personal finance and how to save money. Let's get into the video. Now it's impossible to pay no taxes. After all, we do live in America and eventually you're gonna pay some kind of tax. But I have to say in California, it's probably the worst of them all. Now I've been living in California for over 30 years and I never really noticed it until my line of work sent me off to other states. And when I visited those states, it started to open my eyes a little bit about all the things that California actually taxed me on. So today I wanna to talk about all the taxes that California imposes on its residents. So that way, if you guys are thinking about moving here, or maybe you're a resident here, and you don't even know that you're being taxed on it. So let's go ahead and get into some of those now. Now the first category of taxes I wanna talk about is state income tax. Now unfortunately, people working in California have to pay federal taxes and state income taxes. And so it's kinda of like a double whammy. And so even though you make six figures here, you have to consider that California is gonna take about seven to nine percent of that in state income tax. The top bracket in California is 13.3% and you have to make over $2 million to hit that bracket. So most people are gonna fall in the range of seven to nine percent on average. And so if you made $100,000 here in California, you can probably kiss away 9% of that to state income tax. Let's also talk about California State Disability Insurance. Now I call this a tax because you have to pay it. You cannot avoid paying it. So for every dollar that you make, the state will take 1% of your pay and apply it towards California State Disability. And you'll see this on your paycheck. It's called CASDI. And there's a maximum amount that they can actually tax you on. I think it's about $120,000 or so. But most of us make less than $120,000. So you can kiss 1% of your salary away to California State Disability Insurance. And if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically disability insurance in the event that you get injured, or if you have a child, it'll actually pay for some of your leave through the California Paid Family Leave. And every year, this 1% tax gets renewed and you have to pay this no matter what. Even if you're not using it, even if you're not having a baby, even if you're not injured, you still have to pay this. And one thing that's really absurd about this is California State Disability Insurance is the fact that a lot of employers these days are actually paying for your short-term disability insurance. And so in reality, you actually have two plans that are covering the same thing. But the silly thing is, the policy that your company is giving you on short-term disability only pays you the difference from what the state pays. And so if it's 60% coverage and the state covers 55%, well, your policy with your company only covers 5%, which is ridiculous. So it's better just to not have California State Disability Insurance and just use your company's full 60%. And this CASDI is gonna to continue to take money away from your paycheck basically forever. So basically right there, you can kiss away eight to 10% of your salary just from those two taxes alone. Now, when you look at your paycheck, you'll see that there are actually more taxes on there. The other three line items are actually federal taxes. So you have Medi-Cal, which is 1.45%. You have Social Security, which is 6.2%. And then you have federal taxes, which is 15 to 20% of your salary on average. And if you add all of that stuff up, if you live in California, you're gonna be getting taxed 30 to 35% from the state and federal alone. That means that if you made $100,000, you can kiss 30 to 35% of it away right off the bat. So your take home pay is only $65,000. So all those people making six figures in California, you can just see they're not making that much money at the end of the day. Now, unfortunately in California, we don't get any tax breaks for investments here. If you didn't know, on the federal level, long-term capital gains tax is taxed at 15% usually, and also qualified dividends are taxed at 15% usually. In California, if you have long-term capital gains or qualified dividends, you actually have to treat those as ordinary income. So in California, it's not advantageous to buy and sell stocks because you're gonna get hit with ordinary income tax, which I said earlier, it's ranging from seven to 9% of your pay. And so if you made $10,000 in long-term capital gains, you can kiss $900 away to the California government. Don't hate California yet? Let's talk about some of the purchase goods tax that we have to pay here. Now, as of this video, California's sales tax is set at 7.25%. And the maximum tax rate allowed in California is actually 10.25%. And so here in my local city here, we're at about 7.98%. In some places like Long Beach or Pasadena, it's actually 10.25%. So if you're ever in those areas, don't buy anything from there because they're taking 10% as a sales tax for themselves. Another thing that California taxes people on is the cost of gas. I've visited a lot of other states like Texas and Arkansas, and I always wonder why the heck is our gas price so high? And when I looked into it, we were charging people 50 cents a gallon extra. It's actually 50 and a half cents per gallon. 
And if you look at the diesel gas tax, it's 38 and a half cents per gallon. Another tax that we pay here in California is for buying new cars. We get charged a 7.5% sales tax on any car we buy, new or used. And the ridiculous thing about this is every year we have to pay a registration fee, which is basically a tax on that vehicle. And usually it's either one or the other. You buy the new car and then you pay the annual renewal fee, which is a tax, or you just pay the tax one time, just like when you buy something at the grocery store. Now there are a whole bunch of other small taxes like lumber fee, we pay 1% if you buy like two by fours. We have a grocery bag fee, which is like 10 cents a bag, which in my opinion is just another tax. We also get charged for things that can be recycled. So if you buy plastic cans or bottles, you will get charged upfront for every single bottle that you buy or every single can that you buy. It's five cents per can. And so that stuff adds up quickly. And I know that California knows that most people do not go and recycle at those recycling centers. And I'm fairly positive mostly low income people go or people like myself who is very cheap and the rest of us just throw it in the blue bin. And what that ultimately means is the state gets to keep your money. So call it a tax. We get other crazy recycling fees like tire waste disposal fees. I don't even know what they do with that. We also have an electronic waste recycling fee. So if you go and buy a computer monitor like the TV behind me here, you're going to get charged a small fee so that way they can recycle it better. I don't even have any idea how I even get that money back. So we may as well just call it a tax. So you can see there, you can't buy anything without getting taxed something these days. But that's not the end of it. California charges other taxes as well. There are property taxes, like I mentioned earlier. So if you buy a home in California, you actually don't get taxed on it right away. There is an annual tax that gets assessed every year and you pay the annual taxes. Now, fortunately here in California, our average tax is about 0.77% of the home value, which is actually lower than the national average for once. But at the end of the day, it's still a tax. And like I mentioned earlier, if you buy a car, you're going to get taxed for the purchase itself. And then every year you're going to be paying the DMV some kind of registration fee and some kind of registration tax. And it's all based on the value of your vehicle and the weight of the vehicle, if it's heavy enough. And so it's just something that you have to pay every year. And since I know people from Idaho and other states, I'll tell you the fees are super high. They're almost four or five times more than what those people are paying in Idaho. So you can see here, all these things kind of add up to ridiculousness and it makes living here a little bit painful. It's almost like you don't have enough money to buy things anymore. And that leads me to the next topic of business taxes. So if you run a business here, you're gonna be charged a flat tax of 8.84% on everything you earn. On top of that, they have minimum wage that they have to actually abide to as well. And so every employee in California has to make a minimum of $13 an hour as of this video. And then every year it's going to be going up a dollar an hour until $15 an hour by January, 2022. And also remember that gas and diesel tax that I mentioned earlier, all the price of goods and produce are going to go up, which ultimately means that everything in California is just going to cost more. So good luck finding 99 cent tacos in California. So as you can see, taxation in California is relatively high. I've had friends and family moved here and were shocked by the amount of taxes they were charged. I had someone move here from Washington and they didn't know what California SDI was or state income tax for that matter because they don't have state income tax in Washington. And so when they saw that, it was an instant nine to 10% hit off their pay and they were mind blown. Now I know I'm probably missing a whole bunch of taxes that I haven't encountered yet, but these are some of the typical ones that every Californian has to encounter on a daily basis. If you guys know of other California taxes that I didn't mention in this video, let me know down in the comments below. But ultimately, there's no way of avoiding taxes for the most part in California. It doesn't really matter what economic class you're in, if you're low income, middle class, high income, there's gonna be some kind of tax for everybody. So I know some of you might be thinking it's pretty glamorous here to make six figures, live near the beach, but just remember it comes at a huge cost and sometimes I wonder if it's even worth it. Once you factor in federal taxes, Medi-Cal and Social Security, it's really unclear how anyone can actually survive in California. It's no wonder we have so many people that are homeless here and we have so many people living paycheck to paycheck. There's almost no incentive to invest and there's not even any money left over to invest. And now home prices are sky high in California, making it impossible to even buy a home. And if you own any guns, this is probably not the state you wanna be in. Well guys, now you know a little bit about taxes and what to expect if you want to move to California. If you're already a resident here, well, now you can open your eyes a little bit more and realize that you're getting taxed up the wazoo. So don't forget to go out and vote so you can make a change. Taxation is the name of the game here and it's become a way of life. One thing is for sure, I know that I'm not gonna withdraw any of my investments if I'm living in California. Well guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps my channel out a lot. 
If you have a friend or somebody thinking about moving to California, make sure you share this video with them so that way they know what they're getting into. If you like content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video.